Hi folks and welcome back. So let's continue with our tutorial. So one thing that this is a geometry we have now generated here. So in the video description I can give you, you have the link where you can unload this geometry in any of the supported formats. Okay. So I, I have it here, my geometry menu formats. You can export that from the chart different on shape. This is what I'm using or whatever you want to use. Okay. So if you want to use the same geometry, feel free to follow the link and then load. So let me open here because now that we know a little bit how to create meshes. Okay. And let me give the right, the right link here. I go here. And let me go and open on a step file. Okay. That we know that that one opens. Okay. Avoid my advice. Always avoid those edges files. So we have the geometry. We have the volume, everything black. So we know that we have a watertight closed geometry and we can go and do the mesh. And so we work in the topology based meshing. Okay. So remember you set up everything here. You have your global parameters and then you can impose Docker parameters. You open here. Okay. For those familiar with size and probably you will get the feeling that you're using the same GUI. Okay. You and here, Okay, you just need to impose minimum and maximum and that that's all. Okay, it will be enough to get it working. Let me put some values if I recall there. I want to do only the mesh. So previously we were working, do only the mesh. After we have the mesh, you do the boundary layer and then you do the bond the the volume mesh and those steps you can save it independently and do the, that restarting. And now I'm just talking to the open fun community that probably you are familiar with that or saying auction that you have in a snappy hex mesh that you can save a step saying stuff you have it here but with that you a way much better meshing tool okay so we did it step by step if you want to do everything as one single step just go here instead of doing the mesh just do i want to do it with no prison i don't want to add the boundary layer in this step so you select there and when you click here it will do everything automatically. So previously we went only the mesh, then boundary layer, and then you do your inflation. And also I want to add the prismatic layer. So I selected there prismatic layer and you press there and it will do everything automatically. So let me go here, messages, and here you have now <clears throat> a lot file that of everything that is happening. Okay. So at this point we have our mesh. And this is it. Okay. So it works very neat, very nice. So a beautiful mesh, and then you can export to set up your case in open if you want or whatever format you have here available in Enova. So this is the topology based method. Okay. Remember this method, it will resolve your actually, uh, topology. What is under that mesh. Okay. So all the features lines and things that you have. So this is the way that should, you should work. Okay. Get a good, geometry avoid those nasty stl files because stl files usually they are associated with uh dirty geometries geometries that you lose that topology you lose all that information just to point out that when you create these geometries in whatever cat format there is a parameterization behind this there are some mathematical equations how to describe some curves and so on so in stl files or any triangulation format like the collada also and so on you are losing that information so they are not very amenable for parameterization or for modifying but you might be used to those STLs if you use OpenFun. So let me show you the approach I recommend to use when you have dirty geometry. So here I'm going to work with this geometry that is that is clean, but just the, the same will be with an STL. So in those geometries you use, instead of using the topology base, which is from surface to volume, remember that, okay, then we have some other methods. We move to this one, okay? This one is called the string wrap mesh method okay so basically still it will be surface to to mesh but first you have a dirty geometry you use this method to create your surface mesh okay to do some defeatering you can have holes cracks and everything there and according to some tolerances that you can define you are going to <clears throat> You are, going, you, you are not going to resolve or avoid those problems. Okay. So this is you use for very complex and dirty geometries. So this is the first step. You generate this surface mesh is controlled using this same global parameter. So this global parameters pretty much are applied with, with for all the methods. And then you have more localized parameters. So 
more control over topological meshing, more control over the stream wrap parameter. So I will show you, but later we're going to work more videos to show you the, these parameters. Then you have, for instance, you are doing the, the boundary layer, you have the global parameters, but also you can access all your local parameters. Also for polyhedral meshing, you can control that and some extra options, okay? So here we focus just in here, global parameters. Now look at what happened if I press here. It's going to generate the mesh, okay? And see that it is it's wrapping a mesh around the body. And this is the best technique is to have dirty geometers, okay? Very complex, so with geometers with hole and so on, okay? So see that it does a very good job. And now I'm talking to the open phone community. You might be familiar with this kind of measures. This is what kind of a snap is doing, okay? But there is an extra step. So in theory, you can work with this mesh surface. This is only the surface, okay, by the way. In theory, you can work only with this, but the next step is that you need to refine that mesh. So after you have this, let's call it this string wrap, you remesh this. So you click here and this remeshing is going to do a triangulation and smoothing and improve this initial mesh. Okay, so this remeshing is a way much better than the starting point. Okay, maybe there will be some deficiencies, okay, depending on the mesh quality, but see that this is the job done by this method. So at this stage, I can compare this with the Snappy and recall that the Snappy gives you a lot of problems with the with the feature edges that here, there is no problem in resolving that. So that everything has been captured. Okay, perfectly there. And at this point, you work exactly the same way as we did for the topology base. So you can generate your boundary layer mesh. So let me go and let me add it. So I want to add it here. I didn't separate my mesh. So let's do things properly. Okay, so let me close here. And let's create groups or name it selection or whatever you want to call it. So you go here, geometry tab, select this face, create a new group. So see that I'm clicking. So you go right click, select, right click, move to group. You call it inlet one. Let me move here in the bottom, select the face. Okay, right click, move to group, inlet two. And then you move to the other. Okay, you select, by the way, sometimes it might happen that you click and you select the edge. Remember that you have different selections here. Okay, you can select only edges, faces, and so on. You have also the shortcut in the keyboard. So if you press, for instance, E, by default, you are going to select all the edges. If you press F, all the faces, A, all. So it will be back to A, everything, and for just the notes and so on. Okay, so I press F, select the face. This will be my outlet, move to group, out and then if you want you can do the local selection here so see that everything that you have in your geometry you can access so this is the, the advantage of this working with with proper cat that everything that you have when you're generating is available instead if you use a triangulation you're going to have that nasty triangulation very difficult to control however Innova, when working with steel will will also try to to convert that in the, into a proper uh <clears throat> topology okay so later I will show you that. So now that we have here, we created everything properly there. Now we have everything here. You can access, see that everything is updated automatically. You can have global and local control. Okay, so let's do first this one here. Okay, then the triangulation. And now I can do the boundary layer. So I want to add the boundary layer just here. So let me put here 0.0. .0 uh five and five layers okay but five layers uh, sorry no height ratio that is uh, aspect ratio the five layers here and you enable can enable that here so this and kind of stuff you can do it here okay you have sorry in local controls here you select the volume okay you want to grow the boundary layer in this volume in this wall and then put the parameters okay so everything can be done or here, here. I prefer for some reason to do it here when it comes to boundary layer. So now you just click there, only the boundary layer. And now you can see it there, a nice boundary layer there. Okay, then you can explore your mesh. Okay, you go here, you look at your boundary layer, nice one. Okay, I have 
done very complex geometry and let's say 99% of the, of the time it works sometimes give problem because they are dirty nasty geometries but it works very well okay it can be a little bit tricky to control like in every software okay so later also same geometry so see why i like this geometry you know you can do many things i show you some tricks how to control things then look at here you have all your quality so also you have your statistic division here so here even if you have <clears throat> controlling here the overall quality you see some some bad cells but this is not a problem okay so probably it's too cons and always too conservative for measuring these qualities you move this to open phone the mesh will be a good one okay but look at that here in orthogonality very good orthogonality excuse this which is the important one also these two are the important and this is an internal parameter in ANOVA, okay but the important for open phone when you move to open phone are these two okay so you have everything you are happy with this remember that you can save this step and then restart the next volumes you change something so it's up to you now i do the volume mesh okay so my volume mesh okay i already have it set it tetra so let me go and click here and it's going to do the tetra and then the conversion to poly and that's it okay and there you go polyhedral cells okay way much better cells than tetra and i prefer this one no uh, can compare it to hexes but it's up to you okay and some cases it might be better to use accelerator. In some cases, this might be better. So you need to know all these techniques. So this is how you grow, use the other method. Okay. So just to recapitulate here, you have two important methods: topology-based method and then the string rat. Right? This one that basically is for dirty geometries. It's going to 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 cover your geometry using. <coughs> okay using a mesh okay with a quad mesh quad dominant and then you remesh retrangulate to smooth everything and then you proceed proceed in the same way so these are your two main methods available there are some other methods probably experimental so this is the oak tree uh based method this is exactly the same method implemented in open phone like snap it works it's street ba uh, oak tree based it works more it work, works much better than snappy however i don't like this kind of meshes i prefer to stay with the topology using right okay but later we're going to to also probably explore this one okay but it's still it's experimental okay so you use it with caution so i think i covered this new method okay and what i want to show you when you have dirty geometries when it can be attractive okay so let me go here and open i think i have this stl so dirty stl so see that dirty means that you have some holes there okay so this you can fix this easily manually okay, okay. but just to show you what happened let me create the volume okay create a volume and then you define your global parameters okay let me go here so usually this one needs to be larger than the holes that you have so these are the tolerances so let's see if it managed to close that hole those holes probably not okay so it's doing it's my oh okay i forgot to say it's doing everything so it was doing also the volume mesh so in this case i want to do everything by steps and yes there it was it was taking a long time because also the mesh here you have the mesh is leaking so also it was it was leaking outside so a large domain it was generating a very large domain so okay i stop there i want just the surface and let me select there and let's see what happens if it managed to to do something okay so let's wait here okay i stopped the simulation just be careful also with the dimension now i realize that it export the stl but export the stl here and see that the units no it, it wasn't in millimeters so look at what i have here so let me multiply all this stuff by 100 otherwise it will take forever so now it's only the surface and let's see what happens okay so see that is did something okay it's not cool not nice i don't like what this output but this is, is there is no problem with the tool it's just problem the the geometry so let's close those some holes so remember select there right click and then you can create face from single edge so see black is closed everything fine okay then here 
let me go here and this one to make it da, 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 da. let's see let me fix this hole is closed then here and this so join surfaces and see that it didn't manage to connect that sometimes happens okay yeah. don't like what happened there undo so this is okay let's work with this i have only this hole probably right now it will close that hole with the tolerances I have. So let me click there and it didn't, didn't close. Okay, so I need to have a larger tolerance there. So let me put here, buses then, okay. And just to show you, okay, probably here I have holes too large, so I actually, but see what happens. So automatically it's closing the hole. So here there was a hole and then the tolerance larger than that, that, and it will close that. And it will happen with every single feature, those nasty, so you can have sometimes in the geometer like small spikes, holes, cuts, whatever. So, and also, for instance, you have some fillets and so everything, everything will be the feature using this wrap method that everything depends here. Also, you have some local controls here. So see that you have some gaps closed and so on. So let me show you that. 200 here okay it's still larger than the whole the tolerance okay so this is not the proper way to do it. it's better to control the tolerance there with that option cut close uh, got closed but later I'm going to show you but see that now it didn't didn't close that okay so later we're going to work more with the suctions just to show you here what happens and remember that okay let me put here 150 probably will close the hole there Okay, 150 also here. I don't recall what was the di diameter of that hole. Okay, now I close that and then you can go remesh here. It will retriangulate and see that the triangle tends to adapt to adapt better to the curvature, the surface, everything nice. Okay, and then you can go and do your mesh in the usual way. Okay, it will be a not, not so nice mesh, so mesh, but this is it. Okay, and then you can go and set up your open phone case. So now that you have, you understand the two basic methods, okay, the topology base and string wrap, feel free to do your geometries, okay? We also address how to set up the case in open phone in the previous video, so it would work exactly in the same video. So from now on, the next videos, I will focus in more advanced options, okay? Or some small secret things that you, you you can change here but this is it you have now the basic tools to start working all your geometers okay so we did it also internal and external so later we're going to prepare more tutorials more complicated geometers but also if you have suggestions for a case just drop your your comment in in, in, in youtube in, in the comment section and probably we we'll try to do something okay so thanks for your attention and see you next time bye